Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. So I have another haul for y'all, all right? Um, So I vlogged today. I'm not sure which video is gonna come first, the vlog or the haul. Either way, I'm gonna get into all the things I picked up. So the first thing is some laundry detergent. I bought the Tide Hygienic Clean Heavy Duty Laundry Detergent. Um, I personally mix both detergent and pods when I'm doing laundry. Um, nothing's happened to the washing machine yet, so that's just what I'm gonna continue doing. I also add in like some scent beads. I forgot to buy those too. So it really looks like I'm gonna be back at Target tomorrow at this point. Even though Target already had its way with me today. So I got my first Target bag here. So the first thing is I had to re-up on my um, dryer sheets. So I like using the Downy April Fresh dryer sheets. They smell so good. I love these. So yeah, I throw in like two to three every um, load because I love them and it's mine and I wanna enjoy them. Next, I picked up a pack of four magic erasers from the Mr. Clean brand. And Target usually has this like plastic container of magic erasers. And I'm not sure if they either don't sell those anymore or I couldn't find them or they just weren't like in the store. Um, I had a box that was in my latest empties video, but yeah, grab these. Cause you know, we uses our magic erasers to clean. All right. Next, I picked up a set of this Cotton Cloud Dream candles. These are single wick candles. At first I was gonna pick up the three wick and then I remembered how these Glade three wick candles perform for me. So I hurried up and put that three wick back and I just picked up the set of two single wicks. This says it has notes of airy, of airy clouds and cotton. And I feel like I vlogged this before, but I just didn't buy them. And when I saw that it was like limited stock of them in the store, I was like, let me hurry up before I end up being left off of bad and bougie. So. Next, I picked up a Febreze car scent in the scent Amber. I have wax melts in this scent. And I also picked up, a, I think I picked up a spray in this scent. So this, the notes in here are Mandarin, Amber, and Lava. And it's a nice citrusy scent. So I really enjoyed this in the wax melt. I did have a watermelon one in my hand and I feel like I had another one in my hand, but I put those back and opted to go with these to put in my car. And these are the small spaces scents. One is in watermelon and one is in peach. So I think I'm just gonna like open it and like sit it in the center console and just like let it do its thing. Um, because I'm, I don't always have the um, vents on that face me because if I'm vlogging and my phone's sitting there, my phone sits like is hooked up to the vent so I can't like have the heat on or whatever. So yeah, and I usually have, I don't know, but I don't usually have the main vents on. I usually have like the, the ones that are like, look, I don't know what these things are called, but the ones that goes to the feet and the ones that defrost the windshield those are the ones i usually have running so while i do plan to use these i kind of wish they came in this style so that i could put it in my car and i might put one in like the back seat or something and i just want to see how this performs in a car next i repurchased a dawn power wash i think the last one i had was the apple scent so I'm trying the fresh scent out now this time. I really like using this for washing the dishes. I feel like it's definitely helpful in like getting the extra stuff out that it's kind of hard to wash like by hand. It's kind of hard to scrub myself. So definitely enjoy this and recommend this to you guys who wash dishes. Next, I have a couple of Febreze sprays. The first one is like I said, the Ember one. Definitely enjoy this. And I also picked up a watermelon one. And why aren't these full? Are they not supposed to be all the way full? 
like they're down here i'm not sure like do they just it's because people it's because we spray them in stores or like are these not supposed to be all the way full y'all let me know because it's been a while since i bought these because i've honestly been using the room sprays in the bathroom but i've been seeing them all over instagram so i'm like let me get on the bandwagon so now i have my second target bag here and this is where you know we went a little crazy well first i have another um febreze one this is in the peach scent and i think that's that's everything for home that I bought. So the rest is gonna be for like body. So the first thing I picked up is this smoothing shave gel and soy from the Up and Up brands, the Target brand. Now I have, there's a stain on there. Y'all know I be hating stains on things. <laughs> um, it says it's compared to the Aveeno shave gel. I have never used shave gel, shaving cream, shaving oil nothing i just run my skin under the water and shave and hope that i don't like scratch myself so <laughs> we'll see how this works and today the target i went to was fully stocked okay so i picked up two of these watermelon scrubs from tree hut and it's honestly been a while since i've bought any scrubs from tree hut ever since i bought that cotton candy one I didn't like it and I was just like, I'm over Tree Hut. But I smelled these in store and this definitely smells like watermelon Jolly Rancher kind of. It's fruity, kind of fresh, but definitely smells good. So glad that I got two cause y'all know we've all been picking up the watermelon scents. So I'm just trying to get ready, okay? Next, I picked up this peach and papaya sugar scrub from Urban Hydration. And I don't know if it's just me, but like all the products in there, I don't know if it's because maybe they're natural, but they're like super oily and it's really annoying me because it's like leaking and getting everywhere and on everything. But I guess that means I'm just going to have to use it up sooner. So I guess I'm all right with that. It definitely smells good. It smells like tropically. So this smells good and they had other scents, but I really wanted to try this one cause papaya is definitely gonna be something that I plan on reaching for a lot once like, I wanna say once we get to like May, June, definitely papaya, pineapple. But I might break this out sooner just based on the peach note, so we'll see. Next, I picked up a Coco Colada scrub. And this one's lighter, but it's definitely a light coconut scent. So pretty much I picked up scrubs to match the butters that I got. I did want that vitamin C one, but I was trying to reel it in, you know. But I did need to grab two scrubs of watermelon in the Tropic Glow, but I did. But that's not the point, okay? <laughs> so with that, the last two items in here are my Tree Hut Tropic Glow scrubs. And this says it's made with shea butter, some other butter that I can't pronounce, pistachio and guarana extracts. This definitely smells really nice. And I have a Brazilian bum bum cream um, shower gel. So I'm definitely gonna be pairing these together. So next I have an item I picked up at Nordstrom Rack and this is Pink Sugar Red Velvet. So I don't have my computer over here so I can't pull up the exact notes for y'all. I did spray it earlier. I sprayed it inside the box. And it definitely has that pink sugar DNA for sure. So on the one hand, all the flankers pretty much smell like the original pink sugar. And there's just the slightest, slightest difference between them. It definitely smells like pink sugar to me. There's something in here that's kind of strong. I don't know if it's because I sprayed this paper or what. Let me spray inside the box again, but something... I do feel like the opening is less sharp than the original Pink Sugar. 
And that's something I will say for the flankers I've tried. The original Pink Sugar, the opening is very sharp. And I don't find that the flankers are necessarily as sharp as that. Again, another Pink Sugar. I pretty sure it was um, Mindy that I saw who wore this with Velvet Sugar. So I'm gonna be wearing that as well. So I guess that's how I plan on wearing this one. So if you are looking for this, I highly recommend you check Nordstrom Rack. I think I saw it in Macy's, but it was full price. But I think it's like $22, $23 at Nordstrom Rack. Next, I went to Victoria's Secret. I had to return that um, perfume I bought. I don't even remember the name of it anymore, but I had to get rid of it. I didn't even open it. And since I couldn't get Tea's Dreamer, um, I decided to take part in the promotion or sale or whatever they have going on, little bundle deal. So the one I chose was the 1.7 full ounce perfume and a lotion for $65. So yeah, it came up as a $68 um, 1.7 ounce bundle deal. So I got a perfume and lotion for $68. And um, so they credited me for the amount of the perfume, Just a Kiss is the name of the perfume. And I was nervous because once that total came down, it was like $45, $46. I was like, am I like not gonna be able to use this coupon? So I handed it to her, she scanned it. My total came up to $25 once it was all said and done. And we love that. So I picked up the Bombshell Lotion. I don't know the notes to Bombshell and I hope I like this. I was literally spraying every single thing in the store. <laughs> so from here, this definitely smells like girly, light floral, slightly fruity. I'm not, sh like I said, I don't know the notes, but definitely like a Bombshell so far. We'll have to see how it wears on my skin. And if I like it, I feel like I should try that sooner rather than later so that in the event I want to revisit this deal, maybe I can pick up a bombshell perfume. So we'll see. And the other item I picked up is the Tease Candy Noir perfume. And the notes in here are Raspberry Glaze, Night Blooming Iris, and Warm Tonka. I did pick up um, a body cream to this during Sass. So here's the bottle. This is definitely a deeper scent to me. It's definitely a deep berry, not necessarily fruity, but it's definitely more of a, I think of like a nighttime scent when I smell this. And because I like the, um body butter I bought so much I was like why not give the perfume a try so I'm not um I'm not mad about having this so we will we will see how this works I have just been accumulating Victoria's Secret's um perfumes lately apparently anywho um I'm gonna move on to the last part of the haul and I went to Sephora because yeah okay let me tell you how Instagram gets me in trouble so if you are familiar with my page on my community tab, I um, shared um, an empties video from Brittany, AKA Brown Sugar Self Care on Instagram and TikTok. So I am the president of her stan account on Instagram, okay? And she posted another perfume haul and she picked up some Skylar scents. Now I had already planned on going to the mall anyways. And I remember Sephora has that um, you spend $75, you get 500 points because I'm trying, I don't know if they actually still do the Rouge, the $100 Rouge reward, but um, I'm going to find out. And if they do, I definitely like to cash in my points for one. <laughs> but anyways, um, I picked up two Skylar scents. The first one I picked up is a travel size to Coconut Cove. And on here, it has the notes listed as bergamot, coconut, and ambrox. Now, when I sprayed this in the store on the tissue, it just hit me with like the coconut scent. But I was watching Brittany. First of all, I'm gonna leave like a picture of her thumbnail here because 
if you're not subscribed to her YouTube channel, you should definitely subscribe to her YouTube channel and all her other social media stuff. And on my skin, I'm pulling more of the coconut. I don't really get much of the bergamot. It just smells like an aquatic coconut scent on me. I'm here for it. So I like Coconut Cove and um glad to have added this to my collection. And then the other one I picked up is um Salt Air. And this has driftwood, seaweed, and sea salt. So when I sprayed um, salt air in the store, it immediately reminded me of what I kind of wish I had gotten more of from Vanilla Vites by Juliet Has a Gun. So here's the bottle, first of all. Now, to me, on my skin, when I sprayed it, it was beachy, it's like the ocean salty kind of fresh aquatic but still really good so the vanilla vibes to me is aquatic and beachy as well but there's just this play-doh note that i get not every time i spray it but i feel like more likely than not i get that play-doh note playing around in there and that's why I was like still on the fence about Vanilla Vibes. Like I did like it with um, Beach Nectar, but I'm still like on the fence about Vanilla Vibes. But I feel like this is something that I could use instead of Vanilla Vibes. So in my mind, this is salty, clean. Um, had I have hauled this before I did my springtime scent, I would probably put this in with my fresh scents because this is a nice, clean, beachy type of scent situation. I feel like if you were sensitive to heavy scents, then you might be interested in this. So if you have the chance to smell this at Sephora, I highly recommend you do. So that's everything for this haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video.